Hello, my name is Hope Pukaki. I'm an HR consultant and life and success mindset coach. Welcome to the Live Fully podcast, where we touch on everything in regards to growth, evolution, personal development, as well as some story times and interviews to keep it interesting. My hope is to bring you value and inspire you, entertain you, in order for you to live a more fulfilled life starting now. Thank you for tuning in and let's get started. Hello, today we are doing a podcast for the first time. I will be sharing my podcast on YouTube as well, so that's why I'm filming. But it will definitely be a podcast and a YouTube video so you guys can have the visual and the podcast if you would like. I'm very out of breath because I'm 30 weeks pregnant. I don't think it shows in this sweater, so I'm sorry about that, but I hope the sound is good. We are right now at the cottage. I'm so grateful and blessed to be here. Mommy has my baby and I have the morning to myself. I just finished a coaching session and I wanted to take a moment to talk with you guys about identity shifting. It sounds so special. It sounds like something from the Matrix or a movie, but it's something that's so important and it's something that I work with my clients the most. Identity shifting is definitely the thing that my clients and I work on the most together because we want to get them from point A to point B and we want to help them shift into this new identity. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what it means to shift into new identities, how you can do it, give you guys some tricks and some tips and talk to you a bit about my story and how I've done it for myself. I'm literally sitting right now with the most beautiful view of the most beautiful lake. Like I can't even believe this is one of my homes. So we have two homes, this is our cottage. I can't even believe I'm saying that and that I have this and I can't believe how clearly this vision was written down for myself and my relationship that I have now and the fact that I have babies, <laughs> my baby with my tummy and my baby that's with my mommy. Like this, I literally wrote this down on paper and I have those papers with my color crayons. The first time I kind of like sat down and had this type of like five, 10 year vision goal for myself of what I wanted for my life. And I literally wrote down that I was in this home with these trees that are around me. If you could see the trees, maybe you see them in the window. They're really, really tall trees. And I literally wrote down this vision of having this supportive partner, of eating healthily with my babies, of being in this type, this exact type of home. I had not imagined how beautiful it would be, um, but it was like literally like shifting, like I literally wrote down these things that I have right now. And in order to be able to attract these things from that girl who wrote these things down to now, I did have to identity shift. I did have to jump. I did have to change realities and change my beliefs about what I think I'm worthy of because at that time I was working four jobs. I was going out. I was you like young and partying and i i was just young i was like working four jobs had no money even though i was working four jobs i was all over the place i had not a stable relationship i never had a stable relationship with the partner like a partner i have the dream partner i have now is like i had never had that relationship like it was so um out of reach for me to even think about having a home uh, up here in the in the Laurentians that is so beautiful like this like this was so out of reach but I allowed myself to go there and this is like the first step that you need to do for yourself is to sit down have fun with it grab some color crayons I'm so grateful to my job at Lululemon I'd already been in the development space a personal development space at that time for a while really curious about it and that's what brought me to this career because I knew that it was yes retail but it was also really focused on personal development it was focused on leadership on growth on all these healthy values that I really wanted for myself so like that job for me made sense and one of the first things I did was with my onboarding is that I had a session with a manager at her home and the session was to goal storm was to bring brain dump all my dreams to think about my future and to have fun with it and I can't even believe that a company invests in all their employees at that level because I was just a salesperson on the floor to sit down and to dream and they encourage that and they want it to be that for you and they want you to see that vision for yourself to become a visionary for your life and I absolutely honor and respect that and think it's such a beautiful thing and that should definitely be encouraged if you're an employer listening to this if you're a small business owner do you encourage your staff to dream to have goals to to want to strive for more because yeah maybe you're going to lose them but you're going to get so much value from them because they'll have so much respect for you and your company and the fact that you brought them that space and that they could go there and that they could dream and achieve these things so back to my story i was in her apartment i remember she lived in um where i always go now today which i didn't know this place of the city before but uh, point saint charles and 
now it's such part of my life. Oop, I'm gonna close this down, sorry about that. Lauren Point St. Charles, she had a beautiful apartment with a brick wall. I remember she was so kind and she was so loving. She was so busy. I think that it was a, lot, a big job for her and it was overwhelming, but she was taking time for me, having me in her home, letting me sit down with crayons and like write all my dreams down, write all my goals and encouraging me to dream big and really go like, and have fun with it and, and write things that I really dreamt about. And so the things that I was writing were things like, well, of course, like being healthy and and waking up. Like I remember I wrote this vision of waking up in a home in the woods with tall trees surrounding me with nature, at peace with the partner that I love, with my babies making a smoothie, doing yoga. Like I really painted that vision for myself. And I literally am sitting here right now and I know that this is what I attracted into my life and this home and the partner that I have and all the events that happened to lead me here. Like this is just insane that this could happen. And obviously in order to get it from paper and to attract it into your life, this is where your shifting begins. This is where you start doing the work to get there. So for me, it took a lot of years, right? Because I was still at the beginning of these types of things and exercises and journeys. And it took me a while to get here and to know how to get here, but now I can do it really quickly. I can shift much quicker. This morning I tried a quantum leap meditation. If you are at that level, you gotta try that. So if you're already in the life of your dreams that you've had and you wanna go even deeper and go even quicker, quantum leap meditations, insane little side note number one i want you to write it down i want you to be so clear and have so much fun with it and be in that energy of creativity so create a space for yourself where you can sit down where you can have fun where you can create where you can really just have fun with it let it flow and be in that space of like you're not stressed and you have room to create so in order to do that maybe you want to meditate before maybe you want to make sure that you're coming up time in your calendar where you're not going to be bothered by anybody and make sure that it's a moment where there are not other things that are coming and bother you so that you could really be in that moment be in the present moment ground yourself because that is where you get your creative ideas that is where you're in the flow that is where i'm at right now with you i'm having so much fun doing this and i'm glad that i'm finally doing it but i'm here now i'm not anywhere else i'm like focused on you this camera i know you're gonna listen to this but you're not here right now but you are gonna be i'm gonna be in your ears and in your screen very soon um, but I'm fully present, I'm here, I see everything, everything's bright and color, like I want you to come in here and to be grounded. So let's take a deep breath together on this podcast, on this video right now. Hold it at the top. Exhale out all the air, let's take another one. Start at the sacrum, the bottom, your booty, and bring it all the way to the top of your head. Hold it at the top. Exhale it all out. Okay, so that's your step number one. You're gonna do these two types or even three breaths if you want right before and you're gonna sit down and you're gonna have fun. Do it how it works for you. Grab the crayons you like, grab the highlighters you like, grab the paper you like. Really make this moment for you and have so much fun with it and know that it's so precious because what you're writing down is literally like writing down in stone what is going to happen so be so true to yourself because you're really going to attract it like i'm not even kidding you it's i always say this to people be careful of what you wish for because you just might get it and it's a freaking um are they the pussycat dolls like this type of group that when i was young is a song be careful what you wish for because you just might get it and something like that i don't really remember <laughs> but it's from this song and I never forgot it because so many things in my life have happened and I'll give more examples because it's so fun and I have time because it's story time it's a podcast it's longer I don't need to be like a 60 second reel but yes like be careful because I've attracted things in my life where I'm like okay I literally wrote this down I attracted it I can't believe it's here and it's not even what I wanted actually so let's shift it and we can always shift okay that's a little side note that you need to know you can attract what you want and if you get there and you realize like whoa this is not aligned like let's say for me this example i'm going to talk about is a job that i attracted with certain people that i like really wanted to be have a part of my life and when i was there i was like okay no maybe it's not what i thought it was going to be and i didn't want that anymore and i just shifted and i went into something else with respect with sometimes more turbulence and like maybe more rough waters and rough seas for me and for them but then you get through it and you're thankful for that experience because you get to know yourself even more because that's how you're going to get to know yourself is to 
ask for things and want things and get there and see that okay like it's not necessarily what i wanted so let me shift into something else let me honor that i went there and found out this information it's all just information and let me shift into something else that's going to be more aligned with me and you're going to be doing that your whole life like this is our life story we're always going to be shifting we're always going to be going to next levels we're always going to be trying new things like we don't want to be stagnant stagnant like we're not stagnant we're in change all the time there's change all around us people who don't like change it's a harsh reality because there is there's nothing as no change like there's it, everything's changing like right now every single second everything's changing you're changing your cells are changing they're re they're reorganizing themselves like i'm pregnant right now my whole body's changing like tenfold like 10 times faster than it usually is like everything's regenerating it's that's what that's the world we live in everything's changing everything is going really quickly so you got to follow that you got to be okay with that and and really have fun with it and know that nothing is permanent so if you're like wishing for something like i'm saying be careful because you might attract it um know that it can shift and you can go into something else and you can want something else and you and that's okay and there's no problem there so let me tell you that story it was this said uh, i won't even say names because i don't want to but you guys can figure it out by going on my things because it's like i don't want to talk about people without asking their permission but i can still talk about my experience with that with that job and all of that so this job okay i had i was following this person online from that's a well-known person in montreal in quebec uh, in the french community more and really inspiring like vegan spirituality yoga like it was such an inspiring person and she was with someone so they were really an inspiring couple to me like the couple the guy was like really business and she was really like in her energy and her she still is like i respect them so much it just didn't work out for like the the job like the job that i ended up getting there so i'll explain but i mean it was it's such a they're such a beautiful couple they're a strong couple from what i've seen and working with them and they're exactly what i wanted to learn from in the sense that i i really admired that he was like the male energy and like the business and all of that the shark and all of this stuff and she was and he was valuing her and her feminine energy and bringing that into the business and letting her be fully feminine and flowy and like that was just so beautiful to me and i really i would like admire them from afar online and everything and then some i i really like i was really immersing myself in like the content that at that time this person was making because she was at that time making content not today and i was really immersing myself in that really getting to like see whatever they were sharing and i guess i think one day they posted something so they were from another city and they were coming to montreal to do something and i i like because i was so aligned with like this vision of like this identity that i wanted to integrate of like this power couple dynamic that i what i saw for myself from the outside um that i aligned with them and i, I saw this opportunity pop up and I, I right away jumped on this opportunity and i they were looking for volunteers to do like a a show and to have help with their product and i volunteered i got in there i met them we vibed right away we clicked we had such a good connection and so they were in another city an hour away and the 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 guy the the, the businessman got me into his office for an interview after that conference because i showed up and i was like wow i'm here i'm fully gonna embrace that i'm gonna fully embrace that I, this identity that i want to be a part of in this like story i want to be a part of and i worked for them for that event i gave it my all i had so much fun even though i was like doing four jobs all this but like you make time for the things that you want and if you're intentional like let's say i was intentional about like this couple that i admired and that i wanted that type of relationship in my life well i made myself be close to that and be in relation to them and it was really a really strong like connection and a really um inspiring connection that i really i'm grateful for to this day so i went there to this conference thing that i or show i did with them then I ended up going for an interview at his office and he he integrated me into the company. He, they offered me a job and I went for it. And I remember when I was there at one point, I was like, oh my God, I was literally watching these people online, content online, and I'm literally sitting in their office and I'm literally in their space and I'm working with them and we're collaborating and we're and I'm growing with them. I was really, really young at that point and they had given me an opportunity to do marketing, which I don't do, like, that's not my domain at all. But I was trying, I was pushing myself and... I remember I was also so outside of my comfort zone that I was getting really big headaches, really big migraines after every day because it was such a new environment, so so outside of my identity that I had at that moment. It was so a part of that that it was really triggering to me, actually, and it was really intense, but it's still a proof of, like, that story was really a proof to me that, like, 
I literally went from like dreaming and wanting this type of like these people in my life and having these relationships as examples so like having them around me because whoever's around you it's going to be an example of how you're going to live out your life essentially you're like they're going to really impact you and I was like oh my god I made these people like I came into their space and they're in my space and now I'm in their space and we're connecting and I'm working literally working with them and living beside here and like I was fully integrated in that and to me again I was like see be careful what you wish for because you got it you're like this this is reality I have so many stories like this because like this is so cool same thing for like I work very closely to this I can say her name I know she knows I know she will not mind but Sonia Zarbatani she's one of she's not one she's the best coach in Canada she's amazing she's my coach I love her she's everybody else's coach. like I just I absolutely love her so much and again this person I was connecting with her on socials just like any other viewer you know like when you connect with someone you comment on their things and you like their stuff you just like send them hearts or whatever like I don't know I do that anyways I connect with people I use socials to network but I'm not networking intentionally I'm just like connecting and at some point I got she pulled me into her world she asked me to be on a zoom and give my point of view and she wanted my input because we had been connecting for so long over socials and now I really see her as like a coach but a friend a close friend she's hugging my baby like she's I've been in her home like It's just mind-blowing i'm like how can this happen like these people that you admire on socials and then they come you come into their lives and they come into your life and you take on this like new identity to be able to be in their life so this all relates to identity shifting of like like when you're setting your intention and you're setting like what you want for yourself you really need to be intentional about it because you're gonna attract this these things in your life and sometimes you're gonna attract them and you're like no this is not what i wanted and it's okay and you'll, maybe you'll want just a little bit like this or maybe you'll like to the right or to the left because not everyone's seeing me right now or maybe you're just gonna not want that relationship like the job i told you about before of the power couple that i really admired it didn't work out in the end for me it burnt me out because uh of a car accident i had had and then like the timing of it was not good and i was alone i didn't have a support system because it was that was like too new i was too outside of my comfort zone that I had no boundaries and it really like that really brought me down I can talk about this at another time because obviously I did get through that and it's such a learning experience for me today but it was something that I had to like like stop work burnt like I was burnt out worked stopped working for a couple of months and that's all on me right no one else did that but myself and I put myself in that situation but yes so be careful what you wish for I just gave you two examples of like amazing stories in my life that I'm talking about and I'm like reminiscing that I literally attracted online people that are like famous into my life and we have these relationships and we had these moments together and we shared time and I grew so much from this and I I was able to identity shift and I was able to up level my identity or get clear on what my identity is actually how fun okay I love doing this I'm just checking I I pause because I'm checking if I'm still filming correctly and it's working because I don't do long videos like this it's on my phone and my microphone I've never done this before and it's, it's so much fun. So I'm really, really excited to share this. So we were talking about identity shifting. I just gave you two examples of me attracting into my life and my first big main example of this cottage and my relationship, but of attracting into my life things that I intentionally like was wanting or like journaling about or having in my dreams or visions and they came into my life so you have to be again like i said intentional and be true to yourself but also be okay with the fact that you might want something and get there and not want it anymore and it's going to shift and you're going to shift and have confidence in yourself have trust in yourself that you'll be able to shift it and you you don't need to be scared because you'll be able to shift into something else and make it into something else and everything's again information and you're learning from it and it's making you grow and it's making you more aligned with who you are and what you want to be number one i want you to get clear on what it is that you want okay number two is i want you to get clear on where it is that you are right now so a lot of people they stop at number one they write down their goals their dreams their visions it goes in a box and they forget about it and i i did that with my first goals of care of the cottage and the relationship it went in a box I think it went, no, it went on my vision board that I, I had like this little cork board in my room. It went there. So I was seeing it, but I was not intentional about looking at it and wanting it and focusing on it, on it at all. So it took a lot of time to happen, but it did happen because when I found that box in my garage, in my today's, my current relationship with my current partner right now, I found this. And I was like, oh my God. I literally attracted everything on this list so that was really like a lot of people have these moments they find old goals and they're like whoa I attracted all of that so maybe if I focused on it it will come in quicker so this is where I want you to go I want you to look at this list and I want you now to take another piece of paper or use your laptop or use whatever it is that helps you so if you're visual use canva and put pictures 
Um, so do that vision for your vision and number one. And now number two, I want to, I want you to get clear on where you are at right now. What's happening right now? What's the situation right now in your life? Get really, really raw. Get really real with yourself and really honest. What are you doing right now? Where, who are you being right now? Like what's the identity you are owning right now and you're being? Don't judge yourself at all, my love, because like this happens. At, like we all have these patterns. I don't want you to judge yourself. I was with a client this morning and it was such a beautiful session because I made her realize that her her things that she wants to change so deeply about herself, they're there to serve her. They were there for a reason. They're there for their program that was there that served her at one time and now it's not serving her anymore and she needs to shift out of that but she needs to respect and honor that it that that was helping her and that that was part of her life and not judge herself and that that is totally normal and it's okay and the more love you can give to that present reality that present identity the easier you'll be able to shift out of it because you won't have this baggage it won't follow you around because you're kind of going to close that chapter with love and grace and respect that part of you and not judge yourself so this is really 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 important to do so i want you to get clear on where you're at write down what what's happening what's your identity right now we really want this because this is your point a okay so we wrote your point z <laughs> like what's your vision what's your point b if we can do a and b then um but what's your b like where you're going where you what you want like all these things and having fun and in regards to that where you're at right now and i want you to really really be honest with yourself and love on yourself okay so write this down and take a moment take a deep breath and honor and respect and love on yourself for these things and again know that these ways of being and these things that you're doing it's they're there to protect you like if you're doing these things either comes from like defense mechanisms from your childhood that protected you it's coming from you trying to protect yourself or your brain trying to protect yourself from newness because it's scared of the new so it's making you do the old even though the old is bad and it's like hurting you it's not because it wants to hurt you your brain or like your subconscious all that it's really just there because it's trying to like keep you safe and in the known because it thinks that if it knows what's going on and it can predict that it'll be okay and it'll be safe even though maybe that's not the case so you just need to like honor that and respect your subconscious respect your programming give it some love and we're gonna shut that chapter with our step number three okay let me take some water because i am out of breath but i'm like in a flow and having so much fun with you guys so thank you for being here with me today number three we are gonna write ideas and and dreams and ways and actions that we can get from number one to number two step number one to step number two so writing your point a and writing your point b number three is going to be writing what are creative ways what are fun ways that i can get from point a to point b okay so right now i want to get to my b which is number one sorry and point a which is number two i'm mixing you guys up but yes your future identity that you want and from where you're at right now which we just did with so much love and grace and we're gonna look at that and we're gonna start free flow journaling so you're gonna just open a page or open your computer you're gonna start typing out let it go let it let yourself get in a groove let yourself get creative that's where you get stuff like coming in right now i'm in a flow i'm having so much fun with you guys I'm in a flow, everything's coming to me. Like I'm not even really gonna edit this because except when I take water or something because I'm such in a flow with you guys that this makes sense and I'm going somewhere and it's fun. So let yourself get in that flow, let yourself get in that focus and you'll feel like you'll feel when you're there. So if you're starting to journal and it's resisting, get through it, get through that resistance, make yourself in a comfortable space, have your comfort drink, have your, uh, your song on, like put some Hertz music on HZ so you can do like, 432 hertz and it's like really healing um sounds or you could do binaural sounds they're called and put that on get in the flow like start writing get past that resistance and then when you get to that point of like flow and like all these ideas you won't even recognize your handwriting anymore because you're gonna get so excited so many things are gonna come out on paper and just know that even if you can't read yourself because i can't reread my journal sometimes because i got so excited and i wrote so quickly but i know that these ideas are inside of me because i'm like putting it on the paper okay putting it on the page is absolutely so powerful so if you're doing laptop fine but if you could do like ipad with a pen or even the writing it's proven how like because you're taking the action with your hand how important that is and how it's going to really integrate in your brain so please write if you can so yes you're going to be starting to write out creative ways of how you can get there okay and have so much fun with it and i rather you guys not be able to read it because after this we want to surrender we want to let it go we don't want to obsess over to a point where we obsess so much 
over it that we're squeezing it so tightly that it's popping out of our hands you know like when you grab your soap in the shower and it's sliding out of your hands when you're trying to grip it too tightly this is going to happen with your goals as well you cannot exert control you can exert so much intention so much passion so much flow into it but you cannot exert 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 control over it because you're going to lose it it's going to get away from you you need to be able to have a certain distance from it to let it come into flow you need to have a certain distance from it to let it come into your life and surprise you as well okay so i know there's a duality there and it's maybe confusing but i just stay with me stay clear like you'll get there and it's gonna happen and you'll be good okay my love so this exercise that i just told you of like the one two three i want you to finish that up i want you to honor it you can go back to it like it's good to go back to them and read and it's also fun to go back and see that you achieve these things but know that once it's written know that what once it's on paper like and you've done this three-step process it's part of you you'll know you know you you know you know it's part of you you were honest with yourself you showed up you were intentional you're gonna remember what you wrote don't worry my love but you need to do these three steps of not just intentionally setting what you want but like how is this going to happen and this is going to help you so much in so many areas of your life whatever it is like it's going to help you shift into new realities for yourself it's going to help you attract wonderful things into your life so i'm going to keep it short for the first episode on this topic and it's the first time i ever do a podcast so i don't even know i think it's been 20 minutes i think that's great <laughs> that's more than enough i hope you guys get so much value from this i cannot wait to hear that you've done the exercise and i can't wait for you to come and talk to me and comment and tell me that you actually attracted into your life these things that you attracted and please let me know down below in the comments or if you're listening on um, podcasts please just dm me or send me a story or whatever you want tell me your little story of like things that came into your life that you attracted like that you're so surprised that you're attracted because you said it intentionally then it popped into your life and you're like whoa can't believe this happened so proof of like that you can actually do it and think about that because if you find the proof that you can actually do it for yourself you'll be even more confident that you can be so intentional and have this exercise and do it for yourself and actually attract this identity and these realities into your life so i hope this video and this podcast was great for you guys and that you enjoyed it and that it helped you and brought you so much value and i cannot wait to chat for our next podcast i will try to do this every single week because i think this is a great tool for you guys to have to listen to i think it's so fun to have podcasts and i absolutely love podcasts i'll share some of my favorites as well so you guys can listen to all the podcasts <laughs> i love podcasts so much and you guys can also watch it on YouTube, like I said. So I'm going to share this with you guys um, and I'll try to do it every single week. I'm going to try to choose a day and I'll get you guys clear on which day it is. So whichever day this is posted, please come back the next week for that exact same uh, day for the podcast. We're going to try to respect that schedule. I'm so glad we chatted and I'm so glad you guys tuned in today. Thank you so much for your time and we'll talk again soon.